Welcome to our channel. Today we'll delve into a compelling study that explores whether COVID-19 vaccines might protect us from, or possibly even harm us with, long-term effects of the virus. This research, published in Nature Communications, provides new insights into how vaccines might impact post-COVID conditions. Let's break down the findings and understand the implications. The study aimed to evaluate whether getting vaccinated before contracting COVID-19 can reduce the risk of developing new post-COVID conditions, or PCCs, which can appear 30 days to six months after the initial infection. PCCs can include a wide range of symptoms like fatigue, loss of taste or smell, shortness of breath, and other more serious health issues affecting various organ systems. The diversity and unpredictability of these symptoms have made them a major concern for healthcare professionals and patients alike. Researchers used electronic health records from eight large healthcare systems in the United States, covering a period from March 2021 to February 2022. They compared 161,531 vaccinated individuals with 161,531 unvaccinated individuals, matching them based on location, test date, age, sex, and severity of acute infection. This meticulous matching process aimed to eliminate as many confounding variables as possible, ensuring that the comparison between the vaccinated and unvaccinated groups was fair and accurate. The results were quite revealing. Vaccinated individuals had a similar or lower risk of most PCC categories compared to those who were unvaccinated. For example, the risk of developing sensory disorders, circulatory system issues, blood and hematologic conditions, skin disorders, and other nonspecific COVID-related disorders was significantly lower in the vaccinated group. Specifically, vaccination was associated with a 10% lower risk for sensory disorders, a 12% lower risk for circulatory issues, a 21% lower risk for blood disorders, a 31% lower risk for skin conditions, and a 47% lower risk for nonspecific disorders. One of the most striking findings was the significant reduction in the risk of nonspecific COVID-related disorders, which include a broad range of symptoms that don't fit neatly into other categories, but can still severely impact quality of life. This suggests that vaccination helps in mitigating the general post-viral syndrome that some patients experience after recovering from the acute phase of COVID-19. However, the study did find a slight increase in the risk of mental health disorders among vaccinated individuals. This suggests that while vaccines offer substantial protection against many post-COVID conditions, mental health impacts may still require attention. The increased risk of mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders highlights a complex and not fully understood aspect of the post-COVID experience. It's important to note that mental health outcomes could reflect general health-seeking behaviors more broadly and hence may be closely correlated with vaccine uptake perhaps to a greater extent than other PCCs. The protective effects of vaccination were generally stronger among younger individuals but persisted across different age groups. These associations held true regardless of the COVID-19 variant period. Whether the patient received three or more doses versus one to two doses, or the time elapsed since vaccination. This consistency across various demographics and timeframes strengthens the argument that vaccination is beneficial in reducing the long-term impacts of COVID-19. In summary, this large-scale study provides robust evidence that COVID-19 vaccination can reduce the risk of several long-term post-COVID conditions. This highlights the importance of vaccination not only in preventing severe illness and death, but also in mitigating the long-term health impacts of COVID-19. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that while vaccines are highly beneficial for most people, they might pose risks for others, and we need to understand why this happens. The findings related to mental health disorders are particularly intriguing and warrant further investigation. It's possible that the slight increase in mental health issues among vaccinated individuals could be related to a variety of factors, including the psychological impact of breakthrough infections despite vaccination, or the stress and anxiety associated with the pandemic in general. More research is necessary to understand these dynamics fully. Additionally, while the study's results are promising, they also highlight the need for ongoing vigilance and research. 
As new variants of the virus emerge and our understanding of COVID-19 evolves, continuous monitoring and analysis are essential. The long-term effects of the virus and the vaccine need to be studied further to ensure that we can provide the best possible guidance and care for those affected. The study also underscores the importance of personalized medicine. While vaccines provide broad protection, individual responses can vary significantly. Understanding the genetic, environmental, and behavioral factors that contribute to these differences can help us tailor vaccination and treatment strategies to maximize benefits and minimize risks for everyone. One potential avenue for further research is the exploration of how underlying health conditions and comorbidities might influence the risk of PCCs and the effectiveness of vaccines. For instance, individuals with pre-existing mental health conditions might experience different outcomes compared to those without such conditions. Similarly, the presence of other chronic illnesses could affect how one's body responds to both the virus and the vaccine. Moreover, the role of booster doses in providing long-term protection against PCCs is another critical area that needs more exploration. While this study found that receiving three or more doses of the vaccine provided similar protection as one or two doses, the long-term benefits of additional boosters, especially in the face of new variants, remain to be seen. In the meantime, it's essential for healthcare providers to stay informed about the latest research and to communicate effectively with patients about the benefits and risks of vaccination. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more updates on the latest scientific research. Stay safe and healthy. If you have any questions or thoughts on this topic, feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you and continue the conversation. Stay informed, stay curious, and stay engaged with the latest in health and science.